Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl Christina Sears and welcome to my brand new YouTube channel, hashtag YouTube Ministry. So in this video, I wanted to touch on the most current news, one of the most current news about Joe Rogan and the N-word. What? So in this video, we are gonna discuss very, very shortly about Joe Rogan, what the controversy is, what the N-word is from a historical perspective, what my stance is, and then at the end of the video, I am going to propose a question, so make sure you stay tuned for that, okay? So let's get it. But before we get into this controversial topic a little bit, let's go into the definition in scripture really fast. Okay, so the definition of racism is belief that groups of humans possess different behavioral traits corresponding to inherited attributes and can be divided based on superiority of one race over another. Okay, so the scripture that I have chosen is Romans 10, 12. For there is no difference between Jew and Gentile. The same Lord is Lord of all and richly blesses all who call on him. So that is Romans 10, 12. The context of that is just basically saying that God has allowed everyone into his kingdom who call on him, who believe him, who love him. So just so you know, so basically saying that racism needs to die and that no one is better than the next no race is better than the next race you get what i'm saying so let's get into this so first and foremost let's get into joe rogan and who he is okay let's get it so joe rogan was born august 11th 1967 he's american podcaster ultimate fighting championship usc color commentator comedian he's an actor and a former television presenter he hosts the Joe Rogan Experience, which is on Spotify. It's a podcast that he launched in 2009 in which he discusses topics such as current events, comedy, politics, philosophy, science, and hobbies with a variety of guests. So that's a little bit of Joe Rogan. Now let's get into a little bit of this controversy. Okay, so let's get into a little bit of these facts with Joe Rogan. So Joe Rogan, as you know, I just read the bio of Joe Rogan. So basically with Joe Rogan, he was and is still famous, but he has a very, very famous podcast on Spotify, has been running for over more than 12 years, I believe. Um, and so the controversy is that singer Indy Irie, singer Indy Irie, who does, does and still does neo soul and has um, some some pretty beautiful clean songs actually from what I remember because again I always say that <laughs> secular music really isn't clean but I think in Ari actually her music is clean anywho so she put a compilation or maybe somebody in her team put a compilation of videos together with Joe Rogan from Joe Rogan's podcast that basically had him saying the n-word right and he used the n-word again a lot of people say oh yeah you can't say the er because that's super racist and you can't and then the ah or the as or whatever is not racist depending on how you're saying it the n-word but either way i mean to me you know what i mean from a historical perspective the n-word it was was pronounced many different ways and we're going to get into the history of that after but anywho she put out this compilation of, of I mean this compilation video of Joe Rogan saying the n-word and many 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 of his different podcasts and so then Joe Rogan responded and, and said not only was it not right but also that he has to really look inside of himself and say yeah that wasn't right he basically um, renounced those videos and actually is the one that took them down the CEO actually said that it was incredibly disrespectful and um, doesn't represent the company. However, he didn't want to take down the video. So it was more so Joe Rogan wanted to take down the videos because the CEO didn't want to silence him. Um, however, Joe took the videos down and you know, he also said the reason why he said a lot of the N word is just because that he was just saying it as in, you know, in context, you know, like talking about a, a Quentin Tarantino movie or talking about, you know, some of these other older artists that said the N word, he would just say it, you know, but I did kind of look back at the videos and I think there's a little bit of comedian to it too. So he kind of likes saying it because it is a kind of a rebellious thing to say it, especially as a Caucasian person. Um, and obviously he wasn't getting in trouble for it, even though I'll, I'll give you my stance at the end of this. But yeah, anyway, so let's go now into the history of the N-word really quick before I give you my stance and before this video is over. So let's get into this historical facts. This is actually from the Washington Post all the way from 2001, but it's still very, 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 very relevant. Um, it says the N-I-G-G-E-R, that word, N-word, the strange career of a troublesome word. But let me go into the history of the N-word. So, first and foremost, the history of the N-word was a Latin word, which is more so negro. 
N E G R O, Negro or Negro is what you would say from an English perspective. Negro is what you would say from a Latin perspective, which basically mean, meant the word black. That's what it meant. In 1619, the first shipment of slaves by John Rolfe of slaves, he called them Negars, which is N E G A R S. And the only reason why I say this word like that is because this is not the, the type of pronunciation or the way that you would say it where it's very, very quote-unquote racist but again this word is so tainted so I can't even but he spelled it n-e-g-a-r-s and then by the 19th century the n-i-g-g-r became very very um racial racially attractive in the worst way and it was a slur and an insult okay also in history the n-word was uh definitely used in uh rhymes children rhymes um, and song, song titles more so. Let me go over the song titles really quick first before the children's rhyme. I guess it wasn't the N-words this time. Another one was run, N-word run. Another one was A, N-words reasons. Another one was N-word will be N-word. Another one was 10 little N-words. Another one was N-word get on the boat. Okay, I could go on and on about this, but you get the point. Now let's get into some of these nursery rhymes, okay? So one that is very famous and I'm 35 years old, so some of you might know um, who are my age. Um, but one is any mini mighty mo catch an n word by the toe if he hollered let him go any mini mighty mo and another one is n word n word never die black face and shiny eye and then another one is teacher teacher don't whip me whip that n word behind the tree he stole honey and I stole money teacher teacher wasn't that funny okay Okay, and I just want to read this really quick from the Washington Post. Um, this is actually from Hosea Easton. Um, he was an African Congregationalist and Methodist minister, abolitionist activist, and author. He was one of the leaders of the convention movement in New England. He wrote, in a treatise on the intellectual character and civil and political condition of the colored people of the United States and the prejudice exercised towards them in 1837, Hosea Easton wrote that the N-I-G-G-E-R, N-word, is an opprobrious term employed to impose contempt upon blacks as an inferior race. The term in itself would be perfectly harmless were it used only to distinguish one class of society from another, but it is not used to with that intent, which it used to be. It flows from the fountain of purpose to injure. Eason averred that often the earliest instruction white adults gave to white children predominantly featured the word n-i-g-g-e-r n-word adults reprimanded them for being worse than n-i-g-g-e-r n-word for being ignorant as n-words they disciplined them by telling them that unless they behave they would be carried off by the old n-word or made to sit with n-words or consigned to the the n-word seat which was of course a place of shame so this is a little bit of the history from hosea easton which i thought was really interesting so how are you feeling after i read all that <laughs> how are you feeling after i've talked about all of this Okay, so let me just give you my stance really quick. Let me give you my stance about Joe Rogan first, and then I'm going to give you my stance about the N-word. So my stance about Joe Rogan, I feel like it was good that he came out and apologized, and he didn't. He wasn't full, filled with, like, ego and pride and, you know, all these different things of entitlement or anything like that because he's famous and has money and et cetera, et cetera. I'm not even putting his race in this, okay? Um, but I feel for Joe Rogan, I think that was good that he apologized. Like I said, I feel like it was it was good. I feel like... For him, he should have really never used the word in general. That's my personal opinion. But also, I feel like no one should use this word. And I guess I'm going into my stance on this word. Um, this word is not only used for endearment. This word is used to put people down. This word is to have racial slurs. This word is to have if, to have comedy. This word is all over the place. In, in my humble opinion, I feel like this word is more like a curse word. And as a believer, I do not curse, right? I'm not using foul language. I talk about this before. Like with foul language, it's not even coming out of my mouth because is God using this? Is Jesus using this? Is Holy Spirit using any of these words? Absolutely. Absolutely not. So that's really my humble stance on that is that I just, it's a curse word at the end of the day. It means so many different things all in one little word. And then depending on if you use ER, you're racist. If you use AS, you're not racist. But again, it's like you have one race, African Americans, who have adopted this word from its racial slur and to put down. But at first, remember with the history, it wasn't to put them down. At first, it was just to describe the color black, which actually, too, 
I could argue that as well because black, it's like, to be honest, they're, even the darkest, darkest person in the world is not black. It's just a very dark color of brown, but I digress. But anyways, it was Negro, right, first, right? And then it went to racial slur in the 19th century and even a little bit before that, and it became this really racial ins insulting word of, you know, the Caucasians uh, who had some of these Africans um, as slaves, right? But my point in saying all this is that now and today, it's like the African-American community has made so much money, billions and billions and billions of dollars from the hip hop perspective <laughs> on this word. But yet they, they can't. But yet you will get in trouble if you were any other race to, and actually say this word publicly. That's where my discrepancy is. I do not agree with this approach. I think this 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 word again, should be abolished or not even said because it is, it's so controversial. And to me, I feel like it holds more weight in a negative perspective versus in a positive perspective. That's just my personal opinion on it. Again, I just think it's absolutely ridiculous. I'm, I'm repeating myself at this point, but I think it's absolutely ridiculous for one race to be able to use it however they see fit. And then another race you can't use, or any other races other than African-Americans can't use the word because you know it's not their vernacular, it's not their culture or whatever. And I'm just like, no, this word is a mess. And I and I and I don't I think, again, from a, pr a Christian perspective, I think it would be far, far better for my dear brothers and sisters from an African-American perspective to use the word brother or sister when describing their fellow friends or whatever the case is, instead of using a that's my Oshima or, oh, you know, F off, you know, or whatever. Again, this is from a secular perspective in the Christian realm. Let me ask this question. Let's let's get into my my the, la the end of this video. My question. Let's let's get into my question. So here is my question. Do you think that it's okay for Christians to use the N word? That's my question to you. That's my question to you. Do you think it's okay for Christians to use the N word? This has nothing to do with the secular realm. Now we're talking. We're we're not even going into Joe Rogan's land. We're not going into mainstream secular land. I'm talking specifically to my Christians. Do y'all think it's okay for Christians to use the N word? You have heard my stance. I do not use the N word. I think this word should be absolutely abolished. I think it's absolutely a mess. Um, and I will. And I and I I believe it's basically a curse word at this point. Um, so please leave your comments below. I would love to know what you think because again, am I tripping? Do you think I'm off? <laughs> do you think other people who in the Christian realm do not use this word, do you think they're off? Do you, do you think it's okay for Christians to use the N word? Maybe Christian hip hop rappers using the N word. What do you think? Do you think it's derogatory? Do you think it's a racial slur? Do you not think any of these things just as long as you're using it in a positive light? Let me know what you think. I would love for you to for, for you to tell me and for you to comment below. All right, everyone. So that is my video for today. Feel free to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel. Most importantly, make sure you drop a comment. As I said, do you think I'm tripping? Do you think I'm not tripping? How do you feel about it? Anywho, love you very much. God bless you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.